Thank you, and watch, thank you for watching our series. My name is William Bachman, manager of Hydrocarbon Remedial Services. This is one of a part, five part series on interceptor traps under common workplace contaminants. An interceptor trap is, is a device used to uh, pre treat wastewaters generated within a business activity. Most people associate them with a mechanical or a maintenance facility. They will use uh, interceptor traps used to pre-treat the wastewaters prior to going for water corporation drains. And I'm going to emphasize that they're more liquid uh, in content with a smaller amount of dissolvables, uh, solvents, or oils. I'm going to emphasize also concentrated oils such as being drained out of your engine compartment or disposed of other means, and it should not be dumped down the interceptor trap. Uh, typically, there are what we call a triple phase configuration. In other words, there's th a system of three, and they do require ongoing maintenance. And when it, if I was to cut away a side view of an actual interceptor trap, you'll have your wastewater stream coming in, and it allows this first compartment to allow the grits to fall to the bottom, and allow the buildup of oil to occur, and then the rest of the stream overflows. If you don't have a regular maintenance, and the oils might start to build up in the second compartment, it should be mostly water, no grits. And then overflows to the third compartment, almost all water, no sheens, no oils, no grits. That's the normal operation of an actual oil interceptor. So how do you know if you have a problem, or how can you recognize a problem is occurring? Well, if you have blockages to your drain pipes or those drains from each compartment, if they're not cleaned out on a, on a monthly or quarterly basis, again, something to look at. If there's more than six inches of floatable oils in that first compartment, or if there's significant grits, and also if there's shames that start to develop in that third compartment, all of these are associated with a potential issue that needs to be resolved by a maintenance schedule. However, if blockage just occurs and the system overflows, goes outside, then you have a realistic problem occurring right then and there that requires its own attention. I'll give you some examples of a, a site that we've worked at. This one here, we actually had a muffler in the first compartment of, that would be partially blocked into the whole system. On this side here, all three compartments had actual oil, floatable oils in all three where it had a waste oil contractor actually suction out all the contents to restore that. This one here, uh, we had the oil interceptor trap at the rear, it had overflowed, and we're actually doing testing to the outside soils just to ensure the site is not polluted. As far as cleanup, what would you do? Well, the cleanup, we would recommend that the drain pipes and the, and the whole system be empty, and then you do your piping check from there. Make sure your system is working. If it's not working, then you're going to have to do soil and groundwater tests around it to make sure that there's not a problem around it in the soil to that. And of course, if it is stained, then you'll have to do some type of soil remediation. If the unit itself is not operating, excavate it and get another one installed. Hydrocarbon Remedial Services, we are recognized environmental pollution consultants and we specialize in the testing, monitoring, and remediation of commercial sites. Other information is here on the screen, however, when and if full-scale remediation is required, we do that too. Please contact us at our website or our phone number for further information. We thank you for your time. We hope this information is useful to your site. Thank you.